Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Excelsior, Phase One. So let's. We are in Castle Infinitum, and this looks kind of trippy over here. But uh, yeah, let's explore the castle. It's a banker. Yeah, I mean, how much gold do we actually have in the bank? I think we can actually see how much gold we have in the bank over there. Yes, 400 GP. That's not a lot. That's a, it is something. I am Heltima the Obscure, says the man. Heltima the Obscure. He has a name, so maybe he is important later on. Heltima the Obscure is here. If you want to see how my notes look like, basically looks like this. It's just a text document in the editor that I'm that I'm using. Okay, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. My name is Hornens and I'm a meteor meteorologist. I'm very busy right now, for I'm sure you noticed the effects of the drought sweeping our land. Tut tut. So um Hornens the meteor yeah, let's just make a note of that too. Okay. This almost feels like... Why can't I... Oh yeah. Can't I move? Yes, now I can. Almost feels a little bit like back in the day when you needed to make notes and stuff. I actually kind of enjoy that. I also liked making maps. Okay, so we can get some food here. We still have enough food, so it doesn't matter. Don't need to do that right now. Are you a guard? Yes, you're probably just a guard. The lone guard stands right here. These look like quarters or something. Yeah, and there's another moat right in the middle of the castle. It's a confusing castle. Okay, let's talk to people. The bard says he has traveled far and wide. Yeah, good. The woods have a mystic beauty, of course. Doors locked. Let's unlock. Unlocked. Open. All right. Talk to this guy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Open door. The door is locked. Unlocked. Open. Inspect the glowing orb. Nothing happens. I think what we need to do is we need to take the amulets to the orbs. I think this is how it works. So uh, yeah, we need to take the blue amulet over here. This is still an ambuscule, actually. So, uh, yeah, we need to find ambuscule. Still haven't found it. Unlock the door, talk to you. Good day to you, fair traveler. My name is Salk. It appears to me that although you have roamed far and wide, you may not be fully prepared for the harsh realities of the wilderness. I could give you guidance on the... Survival, or, yeah, on the art of survival in the wild, for the price of 25 gold pieces. Yes, that is agreeable. Good, we can begin right away. Sok proceeds to demonstrate to you various techniques of wilderness survival. After a few hours, he concludes the lesson. There, he says, you will surely manage to travel greater distances in less time, while at the same time not packing any extra supplies. Good luck to you. So I think what survival does is it actually reduces the damage you take when you don't have any food left. So yeah, talk to this guy. I'm Jorath, appointed official cartographer of Lysandia. As a service for the populace, I can instruct you as the general location of various regions of the kingdom. Although you probably know, Lord Valkyrie may not keep this service available for long, as he seems to be cutting back sharply on all goodwill services. So I suggest you take advantage of the opportunity now. Would you care for some information? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. So let's... Embiscule. It's located on the eastern shore, just north of Farborough. Okay, and where it is... Yes, Farborough... Farboro. Okay, the port city of Farboro can be found on the islands just off the southeast coast. Huh, okay. 
So, hmm, southeast and on the eastern shore. That is interesting. So we can't actually get there just yet, can't we? Maybe we actually need seafaring and all this kind of stuff before we actually can get there. We will we will explore the rest of the rest of the land and uh, see if we can get stuff. But for now, that seems to be the case. We also don't know where we actually can learn this seafaring stuff. Hey, what is that? Inspect, look. Can we get it? We can get it. I don't know what that is. Is that a, an asteroid that has has hit or something? I think so. Let's drop the lantern. Uh, let's drop the short sword. Don't really need that. Let's drop the staff. Saturnium rock. Now this is just something that will take up space in our inventory. Now let's carry that around with us. Maybe maybe that's interesting. Um, and that is the path back, I guess. We'll just murder things. I think we can level up like six times right now. Or maybe not. Maybe the requirements go up steeply. I don't know. I don't know how the leveling curve is in this game. Um, okay. Kill you. Let's get this. So we want to get the bevel thing. The problem is the swimming skill. I think we actually get this in Farborough. So we would, I think in order to get this, we would need to get the seafaring skill. Hmm. Things become quite interesting. Uh, so we went up there. Let's go down there. And then we have two more paths we can take from here, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Exploring all the land. This is an exploration game. And <laughs> sort of a scavenger hunt game, I guess. Let's get a bit of food. Get a quantity of food. And we murdered someone over here. Okay, we can now go down here. I wonder what's over here. Nothing. I mean, we could follow this. Oh yeah, and this just takes us over there to Castle Infinitum. Okay, I I get this. You begin to know the the lay of the land. I always kind of like this in games. Games that are adventurous and exploratory, and at some point you actually start knowing stuff and know you start knowing your way around. Oh, 60 st skeleton keys. That is quite nice. Hmm, there is another dungeon of, of sorts. Enter keep. Note while on horseback. Let's kill that thing. Get the charmed mace. Dismount the horse and enter. This is keep flare, actually. What was in keep flare? Oh, there was Aramal here. Uh, yeah, let's save the game for... L P five and let's use our lantern and maybe take a look around here what we have here. Look a berserker. Berserker killed a hundred experience. Okay, we can actually handle this. Pickpocket. Oh, he hits us for quite a bit of damage, but we can actually handle this dungeon. The one problem is, um, mm, uh, I don't know how long this lantern lasts, and uh, we might. This is quite labyrinthine, so I'm not sure about this. Oh, there's a shield over there. Let's not stray too far from the entrance. So keep flare is south of I don't remember what that was. I need to 
update this as soon as I can. Cutthroat. Trident, okay. Open, yeah, the door is locked, of course. Unlocked. Tack. A buccaneer, okay. Handless shield. Handless shield? Can we actually? Yes, we can equip the handless shield. This is fantastic. What even is a handless shield? Ah, huh, good. A bit of stuff that we can get here. A bit of equipment. It also doesn't seem too large, so we are probably going to be able to find our way back, but... Uh, seems to be a circular thing. Open this. Kill the cutthroat. Yes. Cut your throat, cutthroat. And those are the winged boots. I think they are... Let's see. Winged boots. Yes. They are minus one to... Uh, yeah. Minus one to armor class and but we get some more dexterity. Let's see if we actually have a tangible difference there. I think maybe not, probably. What is that? Chainmail. We can probably, let's see if we can drop some stuff that's not that interesting. Uh, the greaves, for example, and let's get the chainmail because we can probably sell that for a lot. Oh. Yeah, auto save. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's try to explore this area. I get this. Get the skeleton keys, and and I got hurt quite a bit. Need to keep that in mind. The exit. The exit has to be somewhere around here, doesn't it? And another chain mail. Hmm. Let's drop something else. Let's drop the charmed maze and get the chain mail and sell this. And uh, yeah, this is the way out. Also, this dungeon has multiple levels. Um, let's board this, board our horse. Yes, okay. Which is again a weird way to put it. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at where we are right now. AP, 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 AP. Um, that was Wickmere. Okay, south of Wickmire or Wickmere. Um, so how about we just go back to the starting town and sell a bunch of nonsense that we have. And maybe we can uh, just go in there, get stuff, and talk to you, so yes, just yeah, just get a bunch of stuff. Or just, maybe we can also just walk around here and kill some stuff because we don't need much, don't have much left to get two Ginzo swords, and um, they will be they will be awesome. If I'm correctly, they do quite a bit more damage than the from the weapon shard. I mean, they do quite a bit more damage than the than the weapons we have right now. So how about we do that? So let's do a little bit of grinding, just a little bit. And then maybe we can at some point go back into the into the into the dungeon and uh, see what else we can find. Maybe take a few take a few things with us. I don't actually know what the Saturnian Rock does. 
Maybe we should try to use this at some point. Oh, that's another lantern. Good. We can make use of that. Bot thought. Torch. Enter this one again. Autosave. Almost spelled that with an F. <laughs> I'm almost sorry about that. Okay, let's sell all this nonsense. Let's sell all this nonsense. And now we can actually get the Ginso blades. Or maybe I need to check out whether this retribution blade is actually better. Would be another thing. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna do this um, in between. In between. In between sessions. So maybe we're not gonna get the Ginso blade just yet. We're gonna get this soon. And I'm kind of debating just leveling up right now. Or maybe not. Let's uh, keep exploring. Let's see. We need some more skills and we need to find Ambuscule. So, uh, yeah. How about for now we just explore this area? We just explore this area, and uh, also I think I'm gonna wear the greaves again. We are fine with how much we are hitting our enemies, so that's not much of a problem. And see what's down here, other than this keep. Yeah, that might be a good idea. And now the path splits again, oh dear. Okay, oh god. Oh yeah, this will be Castle Griswold, Borinthia, and Burrows. What was... Oh yeah, there was the healing thing in Borinthia. This is the village of Hollow. Alright. Okay. The Wandering Gypsy Hostel. Gypsy is actually not a, not a good word. Just saying. Uh, with the bat, yeah, that's a... That's a an inn. The middle-aged ranger turns his eyes to you. A gypsy found in Owen Field might be of use to you, but be cautious. She tends to boast more than she produces. Okay. Um, I made a note of Owen Field. And yeah, that is the resting place of the guy's father. Gypsy might be of use? Question mark? Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, so talk, yeah, buy, torch, shovel, okay, probably gonna need a shovel at some point, enjoy your stay, if you're not able to read complex texts, yeah, the teacher in Wigmer, we already did this, enjoy your stay, okay, talk to this guy, Hello and good day to you. Oh, it's just leather stuff here. Yeah? <laughs> kind of cute, but we don't need that. I, but I kind of like that the game does this. Special, my magic speciality con concerns potions and elixirs of all sorts and varieties. Well, that's okay, but it doesn't help us. Fresh fish from Farborough. Pleased to meet you. Although bloodletting may seem like a gruesome act of insanity, it does serve its purpose well. I speak from experience, mind you. Are you a bloodletter or have you been blood... blood... bloodletted? Bloodlot? <laughs> I don't know. Met by the bloodletter and a good day to you. We appear to be fine. And what else do we have here? The two proprietors of this shop are very flamboyant men, dressed with appropriate frills and feathers. Ah, hello, I'm Siegfried Glutenwog, and this is... Oh, stereotypes. My partner Dmitri Hiplopovich. Dmitri greets you with a wave. We make balloons for all occasions. Big, small, whatever. We make them. 
Usually the balloons are used for the carnivals and festivals. But we are working on and on and grand balloons that can carry a person into the air. Aha! It is quite keen. The balloon is not complete yet, but we do have a small prototype. It's an old design, but it does work. It cannot carry a person, but it does have room to carry small objects or animals. We shall eat... We'll shell, uh, sell it. Uh, shell it to you if you like 5,000 of the gold. Eh? Good, yes? Ha ha ha. You are the broke. Yes, we are the broke. I am the Dimitri. My partner over there make balloons. Draw the flamboyant mustache between his forefinger and thumb. I don't know how I feel about these guys, but um, we can get a balloon here, but we can't travel with him ourselves. We can use it for animals and objects. I don't know what we can do with that, but uh, it's definitely interesting. So, let's save the game. 5 LP 6 and in the next episode, we're going to continue exploring, I guess. And we're going to continue our quest to try and find um, the amulets and get skills and whatever. And try to just progress in the game. Also, we're probably not going to go back into Keep Flare just now. Because maybe we're going to get a quest or something that actually takes us in there. And there seems to be the thing in this game that um, you can't trigger things before you actually get the quest. Because we needed to... I think if you talk to people, but you don't know that you have to talk to these people, uh, they will, won't will tell you the thing that you would... Well, that actually makes sense, right? That they would tell you if you knew to talk to these people. That's how it goes. Um, yeah, alright, thank you for watching. And please continue to watch my Let's Play of Excelsior Phase 1. Bye.